so I just finished filming this entire video and my mic was dead. Just dead. I went to play back the video and I'm like... <sighs> so here we go again. Hey guys, so today's video is going to be my current favorites. These are the products I was loving in the month of March. And also the month of April. I'm a little bit late to this video. <laughs> but these are my current must-haves and I gotta say I am really, really loving a lot of stuff. So let's jump right in. First, I want to give a huge shout out to Current State for sponsoring this video. I love this serum from Current State and honestly, I've been loving this since before I knew that they were going to sponsor one of my videos. This is the Current State Hydrating Serum. It has hyaluronic acid and arnica and I swear the arnica in this product is what makes it so amazing besides the aloe vera and I love aloe vera for my skin this serum makes my face feel so incredibly soft like baby soft and it truly impressed me so much because my main skin issue is honestly texture I don't really break out but I do get like that alligator dry intense skin and I swear this made my skin feel so soft and hydrated in the morning I don't use it every single day I use it like once or twice a week and it's just been really good for my redness and irritation I love that all of the current state products are under $22 by the way super affordable great skincare that you can also find at Walmart they sell current state at a ton of different Walmarts and the packaging is so cute. I know what matters is the formula, but look at this packaging. Me and Natalia die over this packaging all the freaking time. <laughs> it is so, so cute, but the formula is also really, really great and it has become a staple in my skincare routine. I love this. I know it says it's for oily, blemish prone skin, but it works really well on my dry, textury, sensitive kind of skin. I love it. I also really like their cleansing balm. I love that it comes in a little tube. I hate tubs. This has sunflower seed oil and oat. It's perfect for sensitive skin. It's non-stripping. doesn't dry out my skin at all and I like to use this on more natural makeup days. It makes my dry skin feel really good and I also love this cleanser. I'm not gonna lie, my cleansers rotate every single week. I'm constantly trying new cleansers and changing them in and out but this exfoliating cleanser is amazing. It has salicylic acid, green tea, and I love non-physical exfoliators because they're easier on my sensitive skin and I swear this makes my skin feel so so clean without stripping it, without making me feel like tight and dry. I love a good AHA fruit complex, you know? Also, by the way, I do have a coupon code. You can use the code Kathleen25 on the Current State website to save some money. That's not an affiliate code, by the way, but it's a nice way to save some money. Or you can just walk over to your local Walmart and try out their stuff. And yeah, I just love that I found a good affordable skincare brand that has cute packaging and good ingredients. I love that. But yeah, now let's talk about all the other products I was really, really loving in March. Starting with this purple delicious eyeshadow I'm wearing. These are the Catrice Space Glam Chrome eyeshadows and they're really, really good and so freaking cheap. They're cheap in price, but not in quality. They actually remind me a lot of the LA Girl Duo Chrome shadows that I was talking about recently that I'm also obsessed with, but those are more like multicolored duo chrome. These are a little bit more metallic, even though they do shift a little bit, like they're kind of duo chrome. These are a little bit more on the metallic side and I just love this shade in Supernova. Purples like this look so pretty all over your lid or as like a little liner. I love it and I especially love these wet. Even though you don't need to wet them, they're that good. When you do wet them or add like some glitter glue mixing medium, oh my gosh, they are next level. You need to check these out wherever they sell Catrice near you because they are so good. Okay, I have to talk about this even though you're like, Kathleen, shut up already. I can't. I can't. I won't. I will not. I know I don't stop talking about the Essence Pure Nude Baked Blush I spoke about Shimmering Rose, I think, in my last favorites video, but this one in Pretty Peach has been my go-to recently, and I'm obsessed. I love this one a little bit more than Shimmering Rose, especially with my warmer hair, because it's a little bit more on the peachy warm side. But guys, this feels like high-end makeup. I swear I'm never gonna shut up about these because the formula is that good. These are the best baked products I've used and they're like $5.99. I'm currently wearing it today as more of like a blush topper. I prefer it as a blush topper. I do wear this on its own all the time and it's still really beautiful and glowy, but on top of another blush, it's just perfection. And today I have this little combo on. I've been obsessed with this. This is the Pat McGrath Nude Venus Blush, which is also really, really beautiful, perfect for spring. But when you add this bad boy on top, Oh my god, I, I can't. I think what's so impressive about this formula is the fact that it doesn't cling onto my dry patches or any pores. It doesn't emphasize the texture on your face, which is really rare for like a glowy type of cheek product. Usually that will highlight that area and draw attention to like the imperfections, but the formula is so smooth. Truly a dream formula for $6. I don't know how they do it. And I will 
keep talking about it <laughs> because I swear I just love it. I love it so much and that combo is so good. Speaking of nude Venus, I love the whole nude Venus collection. I'm wearing the Pat McGrath nude Venus liner on right now, but that's not what I want to talk about. I want to talk about the Natrium Phyto Glow Lip Balm in Petal, which is what I'm wearing on top of nude Venus. I love this so much. This has been my go-to lip balm for day to day. I do love my road ones as you know, but these are a little bit more affordable and they do have a very light, pleasant scent. I love that it doesn't like gunk up in my lips and give me like that butthole mouth. I really, really like these. And this one in Petal is just so pretty. I have been using it a lot. On top of Nude Venus, it's so nice. Perfect little spring pink lip. Speaking of spring pink lip, you know I love these Juicy Mamacita lip colors these days and I recently wore this one in a video. I love this. This is the Say Glossy Bounce Lip Gloss in the shade Play, specifically this shade Play. I love this color. It is the perfect pink for spring because it brings so much life to the lips but it's still really, really soft. It's not like hot pink or a pastel pink. It's like the perfect juicy candy spring pink that's honestly like just enough. I love the pigmentation. I love the shine. These are really glossy, so beautiful, and this one in the shade Play is everything. You need to check it out. I wish they smelled good though. There's no scent. That's fine. Guys, I have been wearing this concealer since the day that I bought it. I have not gone back. This is the Fenty Beauty We're Even Hydrating Long Wear Concealer. It is hydrating. It is long wearing. I love everything about it. The color range, everyone will find their shade, the formula, everything about this is so good. I love the way that this blends. It has the type of formula that maintains the coverage no matter how much you blend it out. You know how sometimes you'll put a concealer on and as you blend it, you're like, no, no, no. Coverage, where are you going? I'm blending you out and you're disappearing. That is not the case with this concealer at all. You'll notice, like you start to blend it and the coverage just remains. It's insane. It looks so flawless under the eyes, like glowy and like plump and juicy. It's not drying or cakey. I really, really, really love this. Okay, I'm totally cheating with this next product because it's only been a favorite of mine for like a week or so. I just recently bought this on the Sephora website. And I love it. This is the Super Goop Protect Tint Daily SPF Tint. It has SPF 50, which is my favorite. And this is exactly the product that I needed in my life. I wear SPF 50 every single day underneath my foundation. It's a must, no if, ands, or buts, like all down my neck, but sometimes I want something really, really quick. I wanna put on my SPF, but I want it to have a little bit of coverage. I don't wanna have to put on SPF first, and then my foundation, and then my concealer. Like I want something quick and fast. Makeup and SPF, and this is perfect for that. I have mine in the shade. 22W and it is the perfect everyday base. It gives you just enough coverage. It evens out the skin tone. It makes the skin look so nice. I had this concealer on top. I really love it. It's the foundation I'm wearing on my skin right now. I honestly think it looks so good. It's not drying. It's not too greasy either. It's not one of those SPF tints that are really slippy and greasy and like extra glowy, not at all. It's really, really natural and I truly love it so much. It has been my go-to every single day since I bought it. Okay, I know I talked about these on Instagram, but I have to mention them in this video because I really love them so much. This is the Wander Beauty Lip Setters. They're the dual lipstick and liners and this is a lazy bitch's dream. A traveling lazy bitch's dream. This is the perfect thing to just throw in your purse, guys, because you have your lip liner on one side and then you have the lipstick on the other and the formulas are different the lip liner is nice and glidey but the lipstick has a really pretty sheeny creamy finish i love the lipstick formula and i love that it's just one product and it's just perfect to retouch at the restaurant at the club shit at work in the bathroom i don't care it's just the, like the ideal lip product i love it and i've been wearing ticket to tawny a lot this has been like my go-to going out lip color recently i have worn it so much it is so good. Okay, you guys know I love things that smell good. I do. And this Too Faced Melting Bronzing and Sculpting Stick smells like chocolate covered oranges. Like legit, I'm not kidding. Oh my god, this smells like an orange flavored Tootsie Roll. There's something orangey about it, of course, but also Tootsie Rolly. Something very Tootsie Rolly. It smells incredible. But besides the scent, this formula is really, really good. It's the bronzer I'm wearing on my skin right now. It's really, really pigmented, but incredibly easy to blend, which are my favorite kind of bronzers. It honestly reminds me a lot of my NARS bronzer, which is my favorite cream bronzer, but this is like in a stick form. Honestly, probably the best stick cream bronzer I have tried yet. It's so creamy and blendable. I honestly love everything about this, 10 out of 10. Okay, those were all my makeup favorites. Now we can go into hair, 
perfume and books. Okay, so I've been loving the INH Flame Fighter 10 in 1 prep spray for months and months and months for years now, but they recently rebranded and changed their packaging, so I thought I would mention it because this is such an amazing heat protectant. I honestly started using it a while back because my friend Michelle was like, I swear the only heat protectant that doesn't make my hair smell like toast is the INH one. And I was immediately intrigued, so I started using it a lot more. And oh my gosh, she's right. There is something special about this heat protectant. You know how some heat protectants, when you use it, when you go to like use your flat iron, it kind of like gets stuck. You're like, it leaves like this weird film over your hair. That is not the case with this one. It's so light, you barely feel it. And I like that it leaves my hair shiny and it really does protect my hair from the heat. This is so good. Oh my God, my. My freaking camera is dying. It would, it would, it would, it would, it would. Another hair product I'm obsessed with. I just recently bought this. I saw Glamzilla post a TikTok about this and I ran to the L'Occitane website and I bought it immediately because this looked incredible in her hair. This is the L'Occitane Dry Shampoo Mist and it's one of those dry shampoos that spray out like kind of wet. Like it's a wet mist. It's not one of those dry shampoos that have like that white powdery consistency. This one is more of a mist and it doesn't come in like an aerosol can. I love the packaging. This makes your hair look so incredibly clean. It gives you volume. It's the best dry shampoo I think I've ever used in my life. I'm not kidding. And don't get me wrong, I know that's expensive. Like 28 dollars for a dry shampoo is a bit much but the way that this makes my hair feel and smell is incredible the scent is honestly my favorite part oh my gosh this smells just like Hollister like walking into a Hollister or an Abercrombie and Fitch I don't know which one it is it's one of those like surfer boy stores this smells like a surfer man with a six pack no an eight pack like the most packed abs you can have this smells like a guy with a bunch of abs having a day at the spa having a spa day and enjoying his abs. That's what this smells like. It's clean, sexy, it's so fresh. I love everything about this, 10 out of 10. Okay, the scent of the month for me was hands down Tuskeen Caramel Cascade from Paris Corner. I bought this off of the Aroma Concepts TikTok account. I don't know what it is about Arab perfumes that last a million years on the skin, but they do and I don't know how they do it because they are so, so affordable. I think I paid like $39 for this perfume and it really is very, very similar to Bianco Latte. I wouldn't say it's an exact dupe, but it is incredibly similar. If you love Bianco Latte, you will love this perfume. If you've been wanting to get your hands on Bianca Latte but don't want to pay the price, definitely check out Caramel Cascade. It's thick caramel vanilla just like Bianca Latte, but to me, this is a little bit more fluffy. It doesn't last as long as Bianca Latte. I think that Bianca Latte has more projection, but for the price, this lasts. And honestly, to me, it smells like butter mints. You know those little candies that you see like at weddings or at Los Quinces when you're going to a quinceañera party, those little mints? This smells like it. It's not minty like a butter mint, but it's creamy like a butter mint. I don't know if any of you guys feel the same way if you have this perfume at home. Do you smell butter mints? Because I swear I smell caramel vanilla butter mints. Oh, and I love it. I love it so much. If you are a gourmand person, you will love this. And the bottle is so nice. It's like soft touch. Mm. Okay, and last but not least, I want to talk about the book I read in March. So the book of the month was From Blood and Ash. And I got to say, I'm a little bit giddy about it. I really, really enjoyed reading From Blood and Ash. I know there are a lot of mixed opinions on this series. Like a lot of people have told me it kind of sucks after the third or fourth book. I don't know. I'm still on the second book. I've only read the first one. I'm on chapter 17 of A Kingdom of Flesh and Fire. And I have to say, I am really, really loving it. I just started and I am loving it more than the first one so far. But I really loved From Blood and Ash. I love the chemistry between characters. I really love Poppy. I love Poppy so much more than I loved Violet Soringale from Fourth Wing. I think I really prefer the characters in From Blood and Ash over Fourth Wing. I do. I like Hawk more than Zayden. I like Hawk more than Zayden Ryerson. Yes, I do. I think it's sexy and dark. I like the twists and turns at the end of From Blood and Ash. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I really, really did. I think it's a great romance. See, the world building is a little lackluster for me, but I do really, really enjoy the characters and the sexiness and the chemistry and the plot twists and stuff like that. So I really, really liked From Blood and Ash. Let me know if you've read that book. What are your thoughts on the whole series? No spoilers. But yeah, that was the book of the month. And I gotta say, Thumbs up from me. No, it's no Sarah J Mass book. Nothing will make me feel the way the Massiverse makes me feel. I've come to that conclusion already. Like I don't think Fourth Wing compares to Akatar. I don't think From Blood of Nash compares to Akatar or Throne of Glass or Crescent City. But when you just think about them on their own, 
it's really good. Let me know if there are any books that you've read that have really good like plot twists at the end. I love gasping and being shocked at, at the end of a book. It's truly my favorite. It's why I love Sarah J Maas so much because the ending is always like, what? So let me know if there are books out there that made you feel that way. They were really, really good and kept you on the edge of your seat. I will definitely check it out. But yeah, I love From Blood and Ash and I will continue on this journey. But anyway, guys, that completes this video. These were all the products I was really, really loving the past month. Let me know if there are any products you're currently really loving that you think I should check out and I will. But that completes this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so much. Please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video. Bye.